Hello there, everyone. Okay, so as you can see, I am not actually recording this. I'm just speaking, and that is because this is from my live stream. Uh, I thought we'll do an infinite conquest. Let's see how we get on. And uh, yeah, this is your chance to see it. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more Marvel Snap content. And yeah, I will see you soon. Enjoy the stream. Okay, so for now, we're going to leave Bar Sinister. Even if we get Scarlet Witch, we'll just wait and see what comes out. Granted, Collapse Mine kind of decided for me. So three locations revealed, and we don't know what uh, their deck is. <laughs> Quite rare, that. Well, we'll play Brood. Get some uh, bodies in Luke's bar. Okay, that's very low tempo. I think we do that and we do that. All right, so we can fill that up. And then we still got forge here. We get the max energy. Oh, that's a nice little bonus. I, I'm wishing I'd snap now. Yeah, that was that was naive from me. But we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We should win the middle with our, with any decent luck. The worst pull for Iron Lad is sinister at this point. If we get Surfer, my oh my. If we get Blue Marvel, my oh my. Honestly, I'm going to be kicking myself if, I put, if we get Sinister, because I should have just left Wasp. The fact they've stuck in isn't interesting. Blue Marvel, come on. Alright, you move one card out. Congratulations. Yep, win all three lanes. That really should have been a snap. I think the last game kind of got in my head a bit. I was like, let's just play safe. But that was a good opening round for me as far as actually getting points on the board. Okay. That could be annoying. We'll play it out a little bit, but I am inclined to retreat. Yeah, I'm going to retreat here. I know it's uh, a bit early, but... Kitty and Silk are very, very high power cards. Okay, so we are going fast forward through this one just for the simple fact that not a lot happened and I want to try and keep this nice and short for you, or at least as short as possible. So on to the next battle. If they turn one snap, then they're being bold. The only thing going for me there was, um, what do you call it, the Savage Land or whatever the location was, but I hadn't got my Patriot. 
Yeah, go on. If you want to go for two cubes now, you can. I've got Brood. I've got Patriot. It's not a bad opening hand. It's a car. I don't mind any of these being pulled in, so go on. All right, Jeff's out. We've got multiple cars. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Hang on. There we go. All right, we'll brood right. Actually, no, no, no. Let's leave a bit of location open. We'll brood left. Okay, so Patriot buffs that up a little bit. Iron Lad, right. Silver Surfer, so that gets a little bump. What, you're moving, Spidey? Alright, not too bad. Okay, so we've got a play line at this point, even though I'm not overwhelmed by it. Just add a little bit of power with the Wasp. Blue Marvel will buff all of them up by one. I'm expecting Silk to come out. Kitty, Captain Marvel? No, Hulk Buster, wow, okay. I mean, this guy snapped turn one. <laughs> I was tempted to carry on, but I'm like, yeah. They retreat. We're all right. All right. And turn sense to London. It could be good. Might not be. Limbo is interesting with Legion. Um, let's get rid of Sinister London. We've got Legion if we want to remove Limbo. Bifrost, okay. Don't mind Asteroid M. We'll play the Brood there. I mean, that kind of helps us. <laughs> you get the power there, but uh, my broodling will just move back anyway in a minute. Um, I'm trying to think what might be a good play now. I think we do Patriot. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, well. Not the worst thing, I don't mind that lane being filled up like that because we can hopefully Silver Surfer it. Alright, Surfer's out, that's good. So... Let's just do that in case this guy gets any funny ideas. I don't think he's got a way of doing it, but just to be safe. Plus it's five power, you know, but it's like eight power, it's pretty decent in the middle. Hey, 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 hey. Well, let's go and try and change it. Prior just got in there ahead of him. Okay, so I figure we do. Blue Marvel and Wasp.
And then next turn, it really depends on what we pull. Forge is looking kind of nice. All right, so Silt moves into the metal. This feels like it could be good. That should swing that lane. And then Iron Lad, hopefully, can do something here. Angela, Kitty Pride. Yeah, nothing. Oh, hang on, there is a Legion there, so that was pretty big. Surfer. 23, brilliant with one. Absorbing Man does it again. Yeah, that was a pretty solid win, that. Okay, what we got this time? Like a Guila. Ugh. Sanctum. That's worse. Honestly, for two cubes, I think I'm going to retreat. They've just got two or three cards that can play into Sanctum, so I'm already down a location, so I might as well just say, you know what? I'll give you that one. Oh yeah, they got just counting. They got Jeff, Silk, uh, Spider-Man could possibly move something mining, but it could also obviously move itself. Captain Marvel, there's a lot, and the only option I got is Legion, so not ideal. Um, all right, Orcus Forge with Sentinels, not great, but not the worst. The Kiln, we can fill the Kiln pretty fast with Brood. Trouble is Craven can do some naughty things. Ooh, okay. Go on, we'll, we'll brood. We'll fill the kiln. That way they can't move things of mine into there. Okay, that moves it out, fair enough. Hey up, angels. Um... Oh, this is awkward now. Yeah. I'm glad someone was wondering where I was, though. <laughs> I will say that. Um, yeah, I feel like Twitch is... Um, I'll be back soon full-time. I thought I'll do one stream here for a bit of Marvel Snap, but... Uh, yeah, I thought I just wanted to see if YouTube was a bit of... Uh, something worth exploring, but... Honestly, it probably isn't. At least as far as live streams go. Can you hear it? It's them. They will find you. You can't hide. You can't escape. <laughs> no worries. Ooh. Have they got one card that can win it? Go on, I'll, I'll give them a chance in case they think they can win it. They need to bridge 10 power. Uh, how many viewers did I average? Um, not that many, I'll be honest. It was probably at most five. So it wasn't that great. I can usually get a bit more. 
I'll get a bit more on here. Um, when a stream marvel snap, my viewership does drop, but uh, that's kind of how it is with any game, to be honest. It's a weird thing, if you ask any Galaxy Viewer streamer, or maybe not any, but most, you'll probably notice they have a dip in viewership when it's not Swaggo. Alright. First Battle of Infinity Conquest done. Long way to go to get the Infinity Avatar. But, we carry on. Yeah, I mean, it felt like this, it wasn't bad. Uh, it was more just a case of, um, when you think I can get around 20 on Twitch, it's like... It was a little bit rough compared. It might be one of these things where I... Ooh. Okay, so I've lost my Silver Surfer. They lost Sauron. Sorry, I have to keep track of these things. Um, yeah. So, it might be something where I carry... I, I do a bit more on Twitch and then just keep mentioning that I've done YouTube. You know, just try and promote it that way, you know. Because it was more on a whim I started it this time. I was like, I want to try it. <laughs> And uh, maybe it wasn't the best time to try it. Okay, they got Zabu. Uh, the, just remind me. The, oh, that was it. They played um, Sauron. So this is a Red, red Skull deck. That could be a little bit tricky for me. I'm not going to lie. Let's just skip a turn. We'll play Iron Lad next. Hmm. Well, we'll play Iron Lad to see what comes of this. If he's Broodlings, that's great. Absorbing Man, so we just copy Forge's ability. <laughs> Which is interesting. Um, I mean, I, I can just do that as well. I can copy that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it all feels very meme this. Like, really? Are we doing this? I mean, it's plus three power to whatever I play next, I guess. This doesn't feel like a winning line, though. Yeah, let's just back out of there. <laughs> I'd rather lose a cube now. I never actually read that, sorry, Angels. You're getting smacked in 3v3. How's it going? Well, uh, you know, obviously you're getting smacked, but, like, what's actually happening? When I think about it, my first two weeks have been 1-2 on each. So, that's what, 2-4? Two, two, yeah, 2-4. So, I'm in the same... Uh, I'm actually same as you. Uh, it has been a bit rough. No denying it. I've had a few with both ship with with the ship. Um, a lot have had the GLs as well. It's really rough to overcome that. Okay. I think we play that. There. Okay. Your wins were in the first week. Oh, hello. Two thousand and nine. <laughs> Call me. I've got that. Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh. We'll do it. Uh. Let me get rid of that. I really don't like the idea of Sakaar taking something. So 
so they're playing something right. Ooh, okay. I got excited for a second. Yeah, I got the noises working. Um, I think it was a reasonably easy fix, but when you've been banging your head on it for a bit, it does feel like it's never going to happen. Um, maybe we can do that. I could pull Patriot. Forge so we get a bigger wasp. <laughs> Yay, we got a bigger wasp. Wow, 10 power wasp. <laughs> I was joking about it, but that's actually pretty crazy. 9 power is still pretty hot. Uh... You see, there's a bit of me as well that thinks I can't punish turn six, I can't reward turn six snapping, so I'm, I'm actually retreating now because I think this guy thinks, right, I've got the win, I'm snapping, and it's like, you don't do that. <laughs> he, he could just be trying to force me to retreat, but I don't like it. There's still three cards we don't know. I'm thinking, by the way, I will do your redemption once this game's over. Um, there's three cards we don't know. I'm guessing one of them's Red Skull. Could be Vision. Um, I know Vision's been going around a bit. Maybe She-Hulk's one? I feel like I'm cutting them off from doing it, but the one that I haven't said is um, Shang-Chi. So I'm a little wary of giving them a chance to Shang me, because that's the whole purpose of this deck. You're meant to be putting power out, but below nine. Oh, no worries then. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, so Sunspot floats. It's very low power, but I figure let's do this. Okay, now that would have been really nice a moment ago. Uh, Alright, we'll do that. Maybe we can Legion on Washington DC and then see how things play out. I just say that, we don't need to, we just swap the location. Alright, so Iron Lad could take Brood, which will fill the location. Hey, up Crossfire. It could take Brood, it could take Surfer, which would do nothing right now. It could take Blue Marvel or worse, Chavez. So let's try it. What are you pulling? Surfer, damn. <laughs> I'm not getting the pulls! Alright, that's. Uh, okay. We're still winning. Um, <laughs> this doesn't feel so great. Is there a world one? That's a good idea. Not really. No. Do that, do that, do that. Just try and win these two locations. Yep, yeah, the red skull comes out. Alright, we're down a bit. We're down a fair few points here. Alright. I'll get down to redemptions in a sec, uh, Crossfire. Just, this is kind of, I won't say intense, but it's certainly something where I need to concentrate. Um, ugh. Yeah, essentially this guy's owning me right now. <laughs> 
think this deck he's playing, he's got a few counters to me, but I would say I haven't really got strong counters to what he's doing. So really, it's not very good. White Hot Room would be nice to win. That final card's intriguing me. Is it She-Hulk or is it Chavez? All right, that's good. Card draw, we like. Rude, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got no way of stopping him doing sure, uh, Red Skull here. That's the downside. Plus side is, I have got a lot of energy. So I think my priority has to become, can I win two other locations? Uh, in theory, if I do that, I could nick something decent. We'll play Patriot as well. Blue Marvel, that's all right. All right, Shuri there. We've got eight energy. Um, I'll figure it then we do that and we do that. Yeah, they've got Enchantress, so I've got to be wary of that. They're probably going to play Enchantress here, so if I can put power down, that will compensate a little bit. Um, we've got nine energy. If we do that, they could end up getting a ninja. They could. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Two ongoing cards with Enchantress. Have we done enough to win though? Yeah, we got we got the win there. Alright. Really need to watch out for that though, because Enchantress could really screw me next time. Alright, Grand Central. Got a card from each player's hand here. Um, it'd be pretty interesting to meme it, but <laughs> I'm like, maybe we don't just play for memes. It's awkward filling this location almost, but it's a bit of early power there. Got an interesting line as far as Brood, Absorbing Man, Legion. Man on oh man though, I really need Patriot. Uh, go on. Let's play Brood. If we get Patriot, this is a brilliant set of locations. I'm going to play Scarlet Witch, I won't get rid of that. Well, we got the Patriot. I think they're going to play there. So, Legion's a no-no. Oh yeah, let's just... Oh. Man, oh man. Go on, Patriot. That was a... That was horrid as far as guessing. They guessed as well.
That was guesswork from both of us. Man on oh man. Alright, so... I should win from here, I think. Uh, let's just play Wasp first. I don't think it makes too much difference, but we'll do it that way. So we're going to buff up the Patriot in the middle. Alright, we clawed this back. Honestly, I don't know how we're clawing this one back because, like I said, I feel like this deck that he's playing is really suited to going against what I'm doing. So, uh, I'm just about hanging in here. They've got armor, so they'll probably play that there. Forge into Brood is golden. In fact, I think I will fill the X Mansion because that way I don't get the dodgy card. It's usually something you don't want. <laughs> Ooh, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, okay, Project Pegasus, so we've got eight power to play with. We'll do Brood, we'll do Iron Lad. Let's see what Iron Lad pulls. Essentially just gave me a head start for my next turn. Well, literally and figuratively. You know, I've got an idea of what my next turn's going to be. <laughs> Patriot, okay. Yeah, that, that, that was why I did that. <laughs> that was, I feel kind of bad for him here. That was a really rough pull. Um, all right, so we've got a Patriot going on there. Um, I think we play a Sinister over here. And we'll do a wasp here. Yeah, that's why I did that, because I thought we'll have power there even if it gets destroyed. Typhoid, fair enough. Yeah, this is just a golden line at this point. We can play Blue Marvel here. Granted, it's two ongoings, which has an element of risk, but we can then do Patriot. Hopefully on the left, if Danger Room doesn't destroy it, and then Silver Surfer. Oh man, playing into the Danger Room though. 25% chance to be destroyed. It's not odd you'll want to play. Yeah, I figured they'd get destroyed. But, my Patriot will buff them. Alright. That was a toughie. That was a toughie. I should have fist bumped as well. I apologise to that guy. I can't actually retroactively fist bump right now. I, just feel need to, I do feel the need to say it as well. This is Moyne's deck. Uh, he beats Alexander Kosher twice in the Twitch Rivals. He used this deck, so... As soon as I got Iron Lad, I thought I want to try this deck out. Look at that, this has been doing me well today. <laughs> Who have we got? Oasis Hope. Okay. Early thoughts, we've got a play line. That helps. Uh, 
Alright, that doesn't hurt us too much. So they're going to be five power broods, plus two with start tower. I'm guessing this guy's playing Silver Surfer? No! Goose and Silk, that's a combo I've not seen before. Yeah, well, absorbing man, because that's power on the right. Ideally, the next pull is Silver Surfer. Oh, beautiful. You gotta retreat, man. You've got to retreat, surely. I mean, if you think you can overpower this, more power to you. And I'll admit, I am ignoring the possibility of a Shang in this. That left-hand side is going to get massive. The Cerebro 5-in. All right, I've got to give this guy a clap for trying this in Infinity Conquest. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, you played your hand there, pal. Wow, I, I, I'm taken aback by that. Cerebro 5, it can work, but man, that is a ballsy thing to play in Infinity. Okay, not as fond of uh, my hand to start with, but every one of my lowest my lowest cost cards. <laughs> Could do something a bit higher up the deck. Okay, that's kind of all right. <laughs> uh, let's play that. Actually, no, we'll play that there. I don't. Yeah, that's right. I don't mind it there. I'll play Sinister Mid, because... Actually... Do we want to copy it? Actually, yeah, let's copy it, because then... We get the five, don't we? That's not a bad thing to cloning bats. Alright. Not the biggest uh, thing, that. I'm just laughing at my room suddenly become like animals walking in left and right. All right, what could we pull here? We could get Patriot, Brood, Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer would be a bit of a dud. Um, risky one would be Legion. So I think we don't do that for now. Let's play Absorbing Man. We get two five power Sinisters. Let's see what our final card is. Okay. Okay, we get Brood for the final one. Um, yeah, I think we do... Is there any arm in that? I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fill the lane up. That seems a bit underwhelming. <laughs> Essentially just move from left to right. Um, okay, so my thoughts are we've got Sinister here again. And then we've got that it's Patriot brilliant let's try it Patriot or Surfer well Surfer's probably not the one I want because there aren't any three costs on the board now I say it so Patriot's the one we want Legion would be a bit of a dud 
So really, we're going for a... <laughs> we, we're after Patriot here. We're reaching. I'll say it though, this is where I really wish that uh, Howard the Duck was a thing. Oh, come on. That was a god tier pull. Nothing to Shang. Yeah, that was a god tier pull. Um, kind of wish again I'd snapped there because that would have been a good full cubes, but still, we're chipping away. Okay. So we've got Forge, Brood, Iron Lad, Blue Marvel. A little bit icky that Volmi is the first location, but I think we can afford to snap turn one. Just apply a little bit of pressure. I'll say this again though, this guy's so ballsy playing Cerebro 5. Or a variation of it anyway. Yeah, we're going to destroy Vo Forge and go into Asgard. Sorry, we'll put Brood into Asgard. Um, depending on third location, we might Iron Lad Vol in Volmir. See if we can pull Absorbing Man or Patriot, whatever's not come out. Okay, so that was a very bad position for that Lizard. Granted, if Lost Diablos destroys Asgard, it won't mean a thing. Whichever way, Oasis gets a benefit here because I've just destroyed Forge, so either I've destroyed a card I didn't need to destroy, or I've overcommitted early into Asgard when it didn't it won't really get the benefit of it, you know. Okay. I respect that. Okay, so if you destroy Asgard now, okay, I don't get that look. Um, yeah, I think whichever way we go here, we get a half decent pull. Wasp is prob Wasp and Chavez are bad, but Patriot, Absorbing Man, Legion, they're all pretty interesting. Yeah, that was bad. There's ways around that. I really want to reduce that lizard, so I'm going to try and play Sinister Final Turn. Either that or a card plus Wasp there. Yeah, if we do that, and then... Actually, let's just put Wasp down and then go like that. Have we got enough? We should do. We will, we'll, we'll probably lose the, will we lose the middle? That moves. But that reveals, God, Silk's the one playing around with me. Oh man, okay, we, we might lose this. Yeah, we, we lost just because of Silk. If it had moved to the left, we would have been all right. Okay, if we're up on that. Yeah, Silk over there for nine would have been, uh, it, they wouldn't be able to come back from that. Just a little unlucky that the final reveal just didn't go our way. Okay, uh, Forge Brood, again, solid line. I feel like if this guy Credit trying Cerebro 5, ballsy as all lack.
All right, so we're going to get a shuffle in a minute, so I figure let's just play Brood in now. X Mansion's going to wreck them a little bit. Oh, again, Spider-Man. I mean, it wasn't the Brood, at least. But we do get a card. Please be over at five power. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Fairly unusual. Um, Alright, so we'll do that. I really found that amusing how we got a brood. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit odd, but we'll do uh, Legion. We need to see what the final play is, but maybe we could do Surfer. It might be a bit sketchy on that side. Alright, so there's a guaranteed play from me in the middle. Really wish I got a lower cost card. I think we got buff everything. I think we just go surfer, it's too narrow on that side, so we'll just play Blue Marvel and I hope it's enough. It takes everything up to. Oh, of course, that brood wasn't a. Uh... I was wondering why that brood was only two power, I forgot it was the base power. <laughs> Alright, so 21 there, 14 in the mid. All right. I feel like Legion came out the right time there. If we'd have moved cards, it could have messed things up a little bit. Ooh, Silver Surf. Uh, sorry, um, Silver Surf would be great in there if we can use it. Alright, I won't get rid of that. That's not so great for me. But it's probably worse for them, because, again, if they buff a card, it, uh... Actually, saying that, I suppose they could play Goose or go Spider, so potentially they could actually get the 5 power card they need. Downside, Fist Tower. <laughs> Let's just skip a turn, because I haven't really got a play I won't make. Cerebro, okay. We could potentially get Forge, Sinister, Brood. There's a few interesting ones there. Uh, Silk, would you mind just popping into Fist Tower for me, Duck? Oh, you were lucky. Of course, it's Wasp. <laughs> um, you see, now if I play Blue Marvel there, Fist Tower's just going to wreck it. So, I'm in a funny spot again. Um, I'm going to play it there. That's a bit of a lead. Yeah, I think on this one I just retreat. I didn't get the card draw, so let's just not chance it. It's a shame because Fist Tower really should be playing against them, but for whatever reason, RNG just went with them. That was um, 
That was a rough one to lose. So it's 4-4 four, four for health. 1-4 Cuba and I'm out. Or, or I'm, I've won. Okay, not the perfect opening hand, but there are worse. Alright, I'd, I'd like to get rid of that. It won't hurt me as much as it... It would hurt me more than it hurt them. Okay. That's still not great. <laughs> um, I think I might... Because when you think they haven't got anything to disable on going to Faxia, so I think we do Patriot left. I'm, I want to do a Forge Brood turn, turn 5. I've already revealed, so no danger there. Um... What could I pull? Sin uh, Sinister, Silver, Legion. Legion would be interesting. <clears throat> Sinister, cool. Alright, so... We're going to do Forge Brood. If these are Shang on that Sinister Clone, that's going to be very disappointing. <laughs> I'm trying to think what turn 6 is. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, I figured Shang might come out. We're still ahead here, at least. That could be it. Just try and get another bit of Patriot action going on. This feels awkward committing to, but there's a fair amount of power in here, despite it not feeling that way, it's, what, um, five power each lane, I think? Oh no, it's, uh, twelve power in the middle. I feel very sketchy now I've committed and locked in. Okay, so four power. Copies. Fifteen in mid. <sighs> Leading out fire. I'll give that guy full props, by the way. Playing uh, C5 in Infinity Conquest, that is ballsy. Right. Battle number three. <laughs> I feel like I'm accidentally doing the leader pose. <laughs> More like I'm stressed on, like... Self-caressing. <laughs> Alright, pro prolific raven. Let's give you a fist bump, say hello. Hood. Well, um... That's different. Condon's nice. I, 
think we get rid of Niv Nidavalia. Um, if I recall correctly, Venom does take the power from Nidavalia, so we don't want to be uh, giving him more power. Especially after Wakandan. Alright, I've just given them carnage food. <sighs> Go on, we'll play Patriot. The thoughts were should I stall for Absorbing Man to get rid of Mindscape, but I think we gamble on being able to do something with Legion. Blue Marvel wouldn't be great here. They got Luke Cage in this deck. Man. Yeah, it's not great because that benefits them as well, but. I figure let's do that. If a gamble was Shang, that. Yeah, they've got another way of destroying, so... Surely that wins. Alright, now there's only two, but I'm just glad to get off the mark in this one. That Legion pull from Iron Lad was brilliant. Okay, Lekka Guila. Um... Scarlet Witch is tempting, but I don't just throw it out there. Alright. Might need to. They seem quite content playing on it right now, though. Go on, it's not doing me any good, so I might as well get rid of it, but... Feels a bit odd that they're playing onto it. Do we really want rocks in the deck? Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of fun. Oh, look, what's their deck size? They got 17 cars in the deck. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. <laughs> what man, but with Patriot, I could handle the rocks. They haven't shown they got a kill monkey yet either, so maybe they didn't tack it in and thinking, really, I should have done now. Okay. Um, sinister. Sinister Brood. Sinister Brood Absorbing Man. We've got a line. And Forge. Wow, it's my lucky day. Thoughts are we do Brood Absorbing Man. I'm not entirely sure what the next move is, but we've got two location changes and it's tempting to use them because I don't really like the idea of Nexus being in play. Um, that could actually be it, do Patriots Scarlet Witch. Okay, they're happy with the Wolverine being destroyed. Bit low tempo for him right now, I've got to say. 
Uh, let's change that. And we'll do that. That stops them from potentially trying to just do one big card. Although that actually sucks. Yeah, really just neutered my camotage. Or neutered by camotage, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, I don't fancy my chances now. That was a pretty big hit. I mean, if they go it wrong, they'd be out. But, yeah, I don't fancy being on the back foot just because I stuck him when I didn't need to. Spider one was a surprise. I will give him that. Oh, with no name. Okay, we got a bit of flexibility with that. Maybe not in hand, but in the deck. Stop tower, good. Ooh. That's a nasty location. Um That's going to be the hood over there. Yeah, a Scarlet Witch has got to come out. As much as I would love to do Absorbing Man, I've got to get rid of Space Throne. I always get irritated by those kind of bounces where you think, really? You didn't bounce left? <laughs> Feels like it always goes against you. Um, let's do that. You know what? That that just isn't the play. At the worst, we do Patriot Surfer. So, well, no, 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 not that, not that. Go on, I'm going to take the hit with I'm lad. I'm not sure that was the right call. Yeah, I can't reduce my power. Yeah, I've messed up here. That was a big hit. I really should have tried to sw swing it to be a different location via the right. Instead of trying to change it so everything was that, I should have tried changing it to remove it. That was just naive. Okay. Yeah, I don't blame him for the snap. Um, plus, it's a good location. <clears throat> what, are you, what are you getting rid of? Blue Marvel? Okay, we got Legion. He's done back curve. We've still got that little bit at the end. I really don't like that Shuri's Labs there, but I've got to... Let's do that for now. Uh, 
Okay, they got a Shang, so that brood's probably dead. Bloody in fire, this is a horrid set of locations for me. Um, get rid of that. And Patriot? And they get the super flow. Wow. Th this is really not great for me. If I win this, I've done something good, I tell you. Still got places to play. Right, that was the bad Arnim for them. I've got an iron lad left. You know what, I'm gonna do that first then. Oh. Surfer could be the thing that wins this, but the trouble is, I'm at risk here because Shuri's lab's gonna uh, be shang chi -able. Wasp, this is sketchy as all like. Okay, we got that. They're probably playing Shang in the middle. Yeah. Alright, though. They were that prioritized stop in the middle, they didn't think about what I was doing in the other lane, so I'm taking that. 3 4. I've got to say, this is really getting my head, uh, like, focused. How long have I been on? Four hours. Man, oh man. Okay. Got Yondu. Destroys Surfer. Not great. That is not great. <laughs> if I'm being honest, that is not great. Um, but this could be alright. Plus three moving over there. I mean, still a bit awkward with absorbing, man, but. So that's 10 power there, 8 in the middle. Let's do iron, lad. Go on, we'll go all in. Iron like a pull Scarlet Witch, which wouldn't be great. But it could pull Sinister or Patriot, and it will be the final turn, so it can't be Chavez. Alright, that, that's golden. Whatever it is, it's a good pull. Um, so I figure we do Blue Marvel now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play Wasp in there. 
That way, if it is sinister, it's one extra power. So hard to guess what's going on here. I think that might be it. Just play Chavez here. Try and win this and then hope to hope and pray that this lane's good. Oh, but Chavez final turn is horrid. What am I pulling? Sinister. Okay, so we get two or well, two sevens. That's a lot of power. Yeah. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. That one was too close. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Alright, that's a bummer of a, a loss. Okay, so play line, brood, absorbing man, iron lad. It was forge that was destroyed. Right, that's handy for him, so we don't really want him having that. Turn seven, that's interesting, especially with my legion. Um, all right, we will do that. That's a bunch of seven, so it won't be shangable. Yeah, we're just going to avoid the Patriot for a minute because that would take him over the Shang line. Um, two out of the four cards there, I wouldn't mind being uh, going in the Crozier. For now, though, we'll play Absorbing Man. We'll get some power over here. Let's just do that. Yeah, Legion. Okay, so granted, it doesn't affect them because of the Luke Cage, but it just kind of drops that down a little bit. Could have been absolutely naive playing this here. Yeah. I shouldn't have played it. One bar of health, I should not have chanced that. I think it was that prioritised then trying to get rid of the limbo that I completely forgot about Necrotia and. Uh, Luke Cage until it was in play. Okay. We got Forge. Yondu, what are you doing? Blue Marvel, okay. I actually don't mind Yondu in that sense because Iron Lad has less to draw from, so it can be a benefit. Crimson Cosmos is going to be something that I have to play in late. Um, I'm going to chance that whatever I play here is alright for now. Okay, we've got one power sticking. 
Mm, okay, that's not what you want to see. We'll play it. If it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, Sammy J with the raid, thank you very much. I'm just trying my hardest to concentrate with this uh, battle. I'm on one bar of health. <laughs> it's got a little bit out of hand. Um, if I get Pryo here, I could potentially limbo it and then destroy whatever their card is they play. But I need the Pryo. So since to goes, we don't mind that. Oh, uh, doing alright, doing alright, Sam. Uh, just uh, curious what goes here. Okay, four difference, five difference. We got the prior, haven't we? Let me just check it. Yeah, we got prior. Okay, so we can do. Yeah, we can do that, and we should be. Or oh, saying that, no, it'd be the first card. Oh, that isn't worth it. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I think I'm out. Do they play just one card? I mean, if the one card's Wolverine. Yeah, it feels very close, this. Oh. Oh. Alright, that was... <laughs> that was uh, very, very t touch and go. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, nine rounds. That was... Oh, <laughs> I can't get my words out, sorry. Um, all mine, but we still got one more to go. Oh. All right. Let's go for it. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, right, I'm not actually a fan of this leader one, but... If it, it's got me all this way, so I'm going to stick with it. It might be my lucky charm for all I know. <laughs> oh, come on. But this has been very close. I've got to give that guy credit in the last round. He was... Uh, he, he kept drawing me back in. I did get... I think I actually got to round five last Infinity Conquest um, last season. And I, I didn't win it, and I'm just now having flashbacks like... We're not doing that again. All right, let me just mute that and go like that. All right, Jaka. Talk about Jaka. Let's sinister over that. I'm gonna say Patriot would be. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, um, that, that's the hope, that's the hope. I mean, it, you know, it's not like a big thing, the board, but it's just that nice little bit of bragging rights, isn't it? I really won't do that, but it's too early. Um, yeah, let's just brood. We're running out of boardroom, but hopefully we can cope. Ooh, we're playing the same deck, I think. Right, what well, I could draw blue marble, forge, all decent locations. Oh, sorry, all, all decent cards considering what we got. Actually, I'll play that there. Oh, 
We've got Patriot and we've got Silver Surfer. Alright, the Forge. I can live with that. Let's do that. Let's make sure that we can get Patriots out. Oh! Well, <laughs> we're definitely running the same deck. <laughs> okay. Whew, come on. All right, we haven't got a two cost in our hands, so a little bit of a bummer we got Tinkerers. Let's see if we can get it for turn two. Yeah, there's the forge. This way, you think, is it worth having a uh, something like a super scroll for a a mirror? But right now, I'm not thinking it. Uh, I need to make a call here. Do accept we've lost the kiln. I feel like Brood there right now is okay. But it feels like we've lost the kiln. Uh, what could we get? We could get four, which wouldn't be enough to win it. But potentially we could Legion to get in there. Well, I'll take a chance on that. Yeah, not great. I think we play Legion there. Gives us access back to the kiln area, the middle and the left. Not saying that. We haven't really got a lot of cards. I mean, we could Patriot. But there's not a lot else after that. So I also think we retreat for one here. They got a close to perfect play line. Whereas I was really on the back foot there. You know, it's not necessarily about getting Forge turn two, but it's about at least having either Forge or Sinister. And if not that, then get, well, saying that I did get Brood. <laughs> okay. Sure, his lab's interesting. Okay, I asked for it. I don't know what the right is, but I figure let's play it there. Okay. Alright, it's got the Absorbing Man. I'd be surprised if they've tacked in Shang. Oh!
Ooh, now that's tasty. If they've got Absorbing Man, I'm... Well, I don't know, but I'm not in a great position, I wouldn't have thought. I think I like a coming clutch for us, the fact that we can still play Tenshiri's Lab. Assuming they don't play Legion somewhere. Patriot, okay. So they gave up the Vault. Patriot and Surfer are both on my deck. Patriot would be golden. Okay, they gave up two cubes. I'm happy with that. I honestly didn't feel like I was on a winning line there, so the fact that they retreated, again, that's very good. Missing a bridge between Sinister and Iron Lad, but let's see what we pull. Okay, actually, I'm fine with that. We do Scarlet Witch now. We've got Sinister Lad, Blue Marvel. Even if they play Patriot, we won't match. Oh, sorry, Brood, I meant. Yeah, so we've both got three. <clears throat> right, there isn't an ongoing card in the deck, so I figure let's do Iron Lad now. Yeah, no target, sadly. Um, let's just do that for now. The bomb is going to be if Patriot... Oh. I feel like I need to do that. I need to preserve the turn six with Patriot Surfer. Ooh. Well, arguably you should have retreated here. Oh, sorry, you should have snapped. So I haven't got a Shang. Trouble is, I've got nothing to worth Patriot Shang in now. <laughs> Granted, I didn't have a sh Silver Surfer line before anyway. Um, yeah, that nobbled me. Alright, so definitely worth knowing, he played his card there. We now know not to let our cards get over 9. He's got 2 on us. We are behind, but we can catch up. Alright, that's a no-brainer Scarlet Witch at some point. I don't know if we do it now. Well... If they've got a better option, I would leave it, but I might as well get rid. Armor. Oh. Patriot for two powers, now a lot.
I think pretty much anything I pull with Iron Lad here is good value. Good value. <clears throat> okay. Are you sticking around for this? I'm copying the brood, but I'm not actually copying uh, the power, so we're still under Shang range. Barely. Then we've got our own brood. <laughs> Oh, that, that's the only trouble there. There could be a Shang. Oh, man. They can't play Shang and a three cost. So it would have to be Sinister and Shang. They haven't got room for it. Yeah. All right, we got that one. All right, and turn. You know, I feel like in this battle, even one power could be the difference, so I'm making sure Forge doesn't get destroyed easily. Sacred Timeline. We're both going to play something there. He's probably got Brood. Oh. Interesting choice by both of us. I mean, I'll fill that. Why not? So... I figure it. We'll play that there and we'll play that there. If that forge goes, I don't mind. Let's see if they want to stick around for this. I'm really amazed they didn't go for the sacred timeline. They must have had a bad opening hand. Okay. For all the marbles. <laughs> Nothing should go over nine. I can't see how anything will go over nine. It's plus four power in the middle, so it takes it to 20. It's another plus four in the right, so it takes it to 24. Surely we got this. Surely. Come on, pal, put me out my misery if I'm if you <laughs> if I'm wrong, put me out my misery. <laughs> yeah, GG's man, GG's. Unlucky I've been on that other side, GG's. Um but man. We did it! Hey! Oh, come on. All right, leader, you deserved it.
We got the F infinity avatar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's apply. Let's make sure that it's got what it deserves. Yes, it gets the infinity treatment. Oh, that was intense.